This is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is another, this is fourth in the series of tests. They were testing part of Myers theories. On the last two tests, the first one I used a switch to pulse through a transformer and charge this capacitor. The second one I used a relay to make the pulse. In this video, what I'm going to do is use a transformer plugged into the 110 house current, which will give us 60 hertz. There's a good view of the capacitor that we're going to be charging, and that's the diode. The diode, all that does is they're calling it a blocking diode. All it does is stop the voltage from going back into the battery that you're pulsing with. If you want to see stills of this, I've gotten a lot of email asking for schematics. It's very simple stuff, but I will be supplying schematics if you need it. But if you go to hydrogentaptap.com, I've done a lot of still pictures of this, and uh, you can take those pictures or download those pictures. Hydrogentap.com. You'll see the stills. All you have to do is go to the button that says My Pulse Lab. There's a picture of the transformer. What I've done is reverse this transformer. Normally, You'll be going in the two, that black and white lead. What we're doing is going from the 12 volt AC, we're going into those, the secondary leads there, and coming out the black and white lead, going from the black and white lead to or through the diode to the capacitor. So we're changing 12 volt AC to over 50 volts. DC. In order to work a transformer, you have to pulse the energy through the coil. When you use a transformer to boost or multiply the voltage, you lose or bring down the amperage. So whenever you take one voltage and boost it up or multiply it like we're doing here, we're lowering the amperage. And that's a good thing because we don't want the amperage. So what we're doing here, we've taken a small transformer, plugged it into the AC outlet. That transformer puts out 12 volts AC. We're running that AC through the other transformer and taking the 12 volts and multiplying it to over 50. Going through the diode and charging the capacitor. Again, this is just test. This is just to test out some of the theories that Myers has. I still believe that he's not using frequency to separate the water to hydrogen and oxygen. I believe he's just strictly using the voltage to charge the plates to such a degree he's using the plates as a capacitor. He's overcharging the plates, so you get a breakdown through the water, and then you have your hydrogen oxygen. And look at this. Just plugged it in, and we're already at 58 volts. It just took one second to do that because we're, we're operating at 60 hertz. Now it's going down. I've unplugged it. That was a lot different than me pushing, turning on and off a switch in a lot faster than the relay. In the last video, we had a relay pulsing the circuit. A lot of questions about that. All I did was hook the relay, relay up, 
so that when the relay pulled in or turned on, it opened the contact that enabled the relay to be on, which made it turn off again. And it kept going on and off, on and off. I had a small capacitor across the leads of the relay so that it wouldn't do it too fast. If it does it too fast, it won't go completely off. So in other words, the relay was was being turned on through the contacts of its own system so that when the relay turned on, the contacts opened up and turned off the relay again. So you can see how that works. There's our transformer. Again, this system here took only one second. We're running at 60 hertz. The next system hopefully will be running many, many times faster than that and using a bigger transformer.